What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today we are talking about the newly surfaced test footage of Jason Momoa as the Crow slash Eric Draven. Now originally Corin Hardy was helmed to direct the reboot I guess you could say starring Momoa as the titular character of the Crow and I gotta say I was really hyped for this initially. There was at one point where Bradley Cooper was cast as the Crow and there's some concept artwork out there as you can see right here it surfaced online many many moons ago. I actually dug the idea of Bradley Cooper as the Crow but then he stepped down for some reason and then they got Jason Momoa in. It was all set to happen and due to apparently financial differences and creative differences the film just was dead. I'm not gonna lie I got really sad. Now let's get one thing straight. Brandon Lee will always be the crow in my eyes. I don't think you can ever top what he did and what the cast and crew did with that film. It's a perfect representation of the comic book in my opinion. Granted, some things were changed, but I would have loved to have seen Momoa's interpretation of the crow. So this supposed test footage has leaked online and I'm gonna be referencing an article from comicbook.com via my good friend Ryan Unicomb's Twitter where he posted three videos of the test footage. Now I did ask Ryan if it was okay to do a video on this and obviously credit him and his Twitter so thank you very much for allowing me to do this my friend. Now Ryan just also wanted to preface that it's unconfirmed whether it was directly related to the film or not. We don't actually know if he did this before he was cast or because he was cast. So we just wanted to get that out there. Either way, it's a wonderful discussion topic. It just gives you an idea of what we really could have seen and expected with this film. So the article goes on to say, Ryan Unicomb has shared the two clips on Twitter after stills from the test footage began circulating online. Ryan goes on to say, so here's some of the actual footage. Hope they get the chance to revisit this one day. There's always been some confusion around if it's from before he was cast or not. I've personally never been able to confirm, but perhaps director Corin Hardy can. I would love to see if Corin Hardy chimes in and says, yeah, man, we did this and this date, or we did it like way before it was all confirmed and we we're just playing around and having a bit of fun. The article goes on to say that Momoa and Hardy left the Crow reboot in 2018. The reasoning for the departure was reportedly due to financial and creative differences with production company Davis Films, which owned the film rights to the original comic books. However, this wasn't the only difficulty the production faced. The Crow was first adapted to film by Alex Proyas in 1994, starring Brandon Lee as Eric Traven, who tragically died on set after an accident involving a prop gun. Originally set to hit theaters sometime in 2019, the reboot had been in development since 2009, but it had been hit with numerous obstacles since the beginning, including Relativity Media filing for bankruptcy. I've waited eight years to play this dream role, Momoa said in a statement when he left the film. I love you, Corin Hardy and Sony Pictures. Unfortunately, I may have to wait eight more. Not our team, but I swear I will. James O'Barr, sorry to let you down. I won't on the next. This film needs to be set free and to the fans. Sorry, I can't play anything but what this film deserves and it needs love. I'm ready when it's right. However, Hardy had teased Momoa's look following his departure from the project with a behind the scenes photo of the actor clad in the makeup worn by the undead rocker Eric Draven. I knew from the off that the idea of making a new version of The Crow was never going to be for everyone because it was a beloved film, Hardy said at the time. But sometimes when you love something so much, you have to make hard decisions. And yesterday, deciding it was time to let go of this dark and emotional dream project was the hardest decision of all. Buildings burn, people die, but real love is forever. I really dig where these two are coming from, the actor and the director. They see that there's such a love and protection from not just the original source material, but the original film. So. I'm glad they didn't just do it for a paycheck and they were gonna phone it in. If this was to go ahead, I'd like to think we would have gotten something so gritty, dark, pure, and up there with the 1994 Brandon Lee film. So anyway, the actual footage is very low quality. There might be some better quality footage out there, but obviously I'm referencing this off Ryan's Twitter. So it's essentially just Momoa shirtless with his long hair in some crow makeup, wandering around the streets, hanging off lampposts, and he's just articulating himself in ways that, again, make me so excited, but sad at the same time that this isn't gonna happen. He's really chiming into the character. It seems like he's having a lot of fun and just experimenting with his hand gestures, his, his facial movements, his body language. There's him walking down the street. And not to mention, he looks great as the crow because he's Jason fucking Momoa, a buff crow. I know 
Eric Draven is supposed to be a lot more leaner and a lot more athletic and agile in the comics and obviously Brandon Lee was for the 94 film. But Jason still looks great. Like he's, he's an in shape crow. Again, he definitely could hold himself. He would have been a very intimidating crow. And that's pretty much it. Like the clips are very short, but they give you a nice little idea of what we could have seen had this film gone ahead and had Corin Hardy stayed on board and Jason stayed on board as well. And like Ryan said, I really hope that they revisit this one day. Uh, and like Jason Momoa said, when the times may be right, Let's do it. Let's give it a crack. And I really hope that's the case. I hope this isn't goodbye forever. I, I want to see a fresh new take on The Crow, but it has to be done right. And I'm pretty sure you guys can all agree on that because we are so protective of the 94 film that whatever it comes next afterwards, and believe me, there were some shockers that came afterwards. Case in point, Crow City of Angels, the film that came after the original 94 Crow, was an absolute shit show. And I highly recommend heading over to the YouTube channel, Good Bad Flicks, and checking out the video exploring the Crow City of Angels. That production was an absolute mess. The original film that we would have seen had the Weinsteins not intervened and messed with it, would have been so dark, gothic, and beautiful and complemented the original film pretty well. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to chime in, give my two cents on this supposed test footage and test makeup footage of Jason Momoa as the crow, him just playing around in the night street, just having fun by the looks of it, hanging off lampposts and really doing that Eric Draven slash Batman thing, just being gothic and moody and brooding and fuck. I'm really sad that we're not going to get this for the time being. Who knows what the future holds, but I'm sad that it hadn't gone ahead. You know, I should be clad in Jason Momoa Crow cosplay and buying action figures and merchandise, but nah, we don't get it. <sighs> so guys, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this test footage and the idea that could have been of Jason Momoa as the Crow. I, I know people have their reservations about him as an actor. I think he's one of those actors that when he really tries, he's a good actor. It's like Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems. When they give a shit and give a damn, they're really good. I haven't seen Dune yet, but apparently he's phenomenal in that. Again, when the guy gives his shit, he gives it his all and you can tell it shows on screen. And I feel with a character like Eric Draven slash The Crow, he wouldn't fuck around. He would give it his all physically, mentally, from an acting standpoint, from the physicality, everything. Either way, I still have high hopes that eventually one day down the track, this comes to fruition. So thanks very much for watching guys. The next custom collectible coming up is the Hydra Stomper. I am halfway through painting him up at the moment. Well, actually I am pretty much finished painting him up. And next I'm gonna be moving on to the diorama. So his jetpack is gonna be mounted on an aluminium pole. We're then gonna have his jet booster packs there with some pillow stuffing emulating smoke and LEDs in the smoke to make it look like it's glowing. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm hopefully gonna have that video up next week for you guys. But until then, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry. Be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.